Yes, Gungun, are you having any idea about this chapter, Triangles? Yes, ma'am, but I find this chapter a little hard. Okay. okay, so no worries. If you are having at least a little bit of idea about the concepts, you find it hard now. I'll be taking, giving extra classes to you. If you are having idea, then you can be here. If you don't have any idea about what is similar, triangles and all, then uh, I would suggest you that uh, Freshly will be doing it, this chapter in the extra class. So as you said that you, you have done this class, uh, this chapter in a school, right? Yes. So just be here, okay? I'll be give, arranging uh, extra classes for you, okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, yeah, uh, so we were discussing the concept of similarity and yeah, similar triangles we were discussing and what are the criteria that we were discussing yesterday. So already uh, the first criteria that is angle, angle, angle criteria we have discussed yesterday that if we are having two triangles, any random two triangle and if each like one of the angle, one of the angle over here is equals to one of the angle over there, another angle over here is equals to another angle over there. Okay. And the third angle over here is equals to third angle over there. Then we can say these two triangles are similar with each other. Okay. And uh, the same similar criteria, similar triangle criteria. We, we also discussed that when we are having just two angles same, then also we can say that both the triangles are similar with each other. Why? Because we are talking about triangles. So if two angles are same, then automatically third angle will be same. So far, everything is clear to everyone, right? Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now the third criteria, third criteria is... Here also we are having side, side, side criteria, okay? Here also we are having side, side, side criteria. Now, what does it mean? Uh, is it same like the congruency criteria that is each and every like one of the side over here is equals to one of the side over there? Is it like that? No, we are talking about the concept of similar triangles. So for example, if we are having a triangle, let's say triangle ABC and we are having another triangle, let's say triangle PQR, okay? Now, if this side AB is five centimeter, this AC is, let's say, six centimeter, and BC is, let's say, seven centimeter. And here in, in the other triangle PQR, if we are having one of the side as a Let's say one of the side we are having, this is 10 centimeter, okay? Here, if we are having 12 centimeter and here, if we are having 14 centimeter, just assume that, okay? Even though it doesn't look like that, but just assume that this is how the sides are given, okay? Then these two triangles are similar with each other. Why? Because the ratio, when we are talking about the similar triangle concept, then we don't have to match exactly here. AB is five centimeter. There also, there must be a side which is five centimeter. No, that was the concept of congruency. Here, we just have to see whether one of the side over here and one of the side over there, we can take it as a RP or PR is equals to five by 10. And the ratio we are getting over here as a one by two. Similarly, another side over here, BC, and there we are having side PQ. Ratio is 7 by 14. Still, it is 1 by 2. And the next side, that is AC, by there we are having a side RQ. If we will find the ratio, still we are getting 1 by 2. So, we can say the ratio, okay? The ratios are same. Sides are proportional with each other. Sides are in same ratio, we can say. AB by RP is equals to BC by PQ is equals to AC by RQ. If this is the case, then we can say that these two triangles are 
similar with each other okay and what how will write the name who will say how we will write the name how we will write the name of the triangle yes ma'am can i show the triangle just a second can you see triangle abc is similar to triangle rpq abc is similar to r p q let's write it triangle r p okay that means side ab by side r p yes side b c by side p q yes side a c by side r q yes can you see the ratios if we will try writing the ratio from here yes we are getting the same ratio that's how systematically in a certain way in a certain pattern we have to write the name of the triangle okay yes this is perfect let's continue so this is the criteria when sides like ratio between the sides are same this is side 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 criteria for similar triangle and if 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 these two triangles are similar with each other then corresponding part of the similar triangle what what will be the corresponding part of the similar triangle who will say who will say ma'am can you repeat what will be the corresponding part of the similar triangle previously in congruency when someone will write this triangle that triangle are congruent then quick 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 will be writing this angle that angle same this angle that angle same and then this side that side same so corresponding sides are same corresponding angles are same for concept of congruency what about similarity what can be written over it ab and rp are similar then bc and pq are similar and then ac and qr are similar yeah uh, the ratios are proportions are in proportion right maha yes ma'am yeah and what else what else angle a over here is equals to angle r over there yes or no yes or no angle b over here is equals to angle p over there angle c over here is equals to angle q over there this one we can write it by ourselves even if we cannot see it in the figure but it will be same similar triangle means sides are in proportion and angles are same then why we are saying just side 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 we have to match because this is the bare minimum information the at least this much information if we are having this this is how sides are given for two triangle then we can we can conclude that these two triangles are similar with each other and what is the meaning of similarity meaning of similarity means two two shapes to like one one of the figure is triangle another is triangle and the sides sides are in proportion in a particular ratio in a particular well mannered ratio the sides are getting stretched or maybe getting compressed 
if one of the side we are compressing by half another side also we will compress by half another side also we will compress by half this is what the meaning of similarity and yeah angle also has to be same each and every angle like one of the angle over here has to be equals to one of the angle over there like angle a over here will be equals to angle r over there getting it how previously when whenever we used to prove that triangle abc is congruent with triangle pqr then how quickly we used to write that ab will be equals to pq by cpct okay if any anywhere we need to use this information we we used to take it from here quickly by ourselves right right yes ma'am similarly here also when two triangles are similar with each other then by ourselves we can write by ourselves we can if abc is similar to triangle pqr then by ourselves we can write angle a and angle p must be equal sides will not be equal angle a angle p will be equal angle b angle q will be equal angle c angle r will be equal okay if you are understanding this concept then just a second let me take one question if it's a question okay if in two triangle abc and pqr then ab by qr is equals to bc by pr is equals to ca by pq and options are triangle pqr is similar with triangle cab option b triangle pqr is similar with triangle abc option c triangle a c b a is similar to triangle pqr and option d triangle bca is similar to triangle pqr here triangle is not given we have to check which pattern exactly will be the correct pattern just by looking okay. at the sides which are in proportion with each other option a is it option a is it option a everyone is agreeing with her is it option a is it option a yes ma'am it is option a yes ma'am okay let's check it ab by qr yeah bc by pr yeah ca by pq yeah option a is the correct option okay so we need to understand that when sides are in proportion with each other then yeah we will be able to write we will be able to check which option is the correct option rather than keep on thinking and keep on thinking about it quick 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 we'll be checking the option and we will eliminate the option okay let's continue now the next uh, similar triangle next criteria for similar triangle the criteria number 4 we can say it's it's side angle side 
criteria. Okay, similarity criteria we are having here. It's side angle side. It looks like the they are also in congruency. We were having side angle side congruency criteria. Here we are having side angle side similarity criteria. Okay. But this one is not same as that one. There we used to match one of the side is exactly same length as the other side like that. But here we'll be having this type of scenario. Here suppose there is a triangle ABC. And there is a triangle PQR. Suppose we are having this side as 1.5. This side we are having as 2.5. Okay, here we are having this side as let's say 3 centimeter. This side we are having as a 5 centimeter. Okay, and angle. This angle, let's say it is 60 degree over here and it is 60 degree over here. Then we will say side angle side criteria is getting fulfilled. How? If we will be finding the ratio AB over PQ, that will be 1.5 by 3. Okay. That means 15 by 30. That means 1 by 2. Similarly, if we will be finding the ratio BC by QR, it will come out as a 2.5 by 5. That means 25 by 50. Okay. Still 1 by 2. So this sides are in proportion with each other. We can see in the figure and we have found the ratio also. Here included angle. That means included between this two side, there is an angle. Angle ABC is equals to angle PQR. Included angle is same. Okay, any other random angle will be same. That, that will not fulfill this criteria, side angle side. Included angle has to be same. Included between both the sides, which ratio you have found. And you are saying, yeah, I have checked the ratios are same. Only two sides ratio. We have checked it's same. Okay, but... The condition is in, in between those two sides, whatever angle is there. See, included angle is there. Included angle. Okay. If instead of this one, if we are having this type of scenario, suppose again the same, this side, still I'm taking the same. This one I've taken 2.5. And here we are having 3. Here we are having 5. And this angle. This angle is, let's say, this angle is 70 degree. And here, this angle is 70 degree. Then this is not fulfilling any criteria. Okay, side angle, side criteria is not getting fulfilled. We cannot say this two triangle are similar triangle. Okay, included angle must be same. Getting it? Everyone getting it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, in between these two sides, whatever angle is there, that angle we will match. Otherwise, it's uh, not similar. So, if you understood this concept. In... Just a second now. Let me check which question I can do. If in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB by DE is equals to BD by FD, then they will be similar.
when options are angle b is equals to angle e options the second option angle a is equals to angle d the third option angle b is equals to angle d and the fourth option angle a is equals to angle f figure is not given we can draw it okay we can draw the figure yeah which option is the correct option there is a triangle abc and there is a triangle def okay there is a triangle abc abc and we are having another triangle that is d e f such that such that ab by de okay ab by de is equals to bd b b just a second now let me check fd is okay is it bd or what bc is there sorry bc is there bc by fd yeah okay so bc by fd now they will be similar when which which angle will be same tell me um c c is it c so far we have discussed all the criteria of similarity angle 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 which can be taken as angle angle okay then side 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 similarity criteria and then side angle side okay we are done with all the criteria now we will be solving the question is it option c everyone agreeing with her yes ma'am ma'am i think it's option a for me option a yes okay zainab you are saying yes okay okay we'll be checking it okay and yeah gun gun yes ma'am which option ma'am option c c okay aisha galvin maha nua ma'am option, option c okay galvin said a right no ma'am option c okay c okay let's check it so now only we have discussed the criteria of similarity that is side angle side criteria we check we found over there side angle side doesn't mean that side like two sides will be same it means that the ratio between the sides okay will be same two pair of like per sides will be having where the ratio will be exactly same and included angle in between those two side whatever angle is there those angles has to be same okay if we will try using the same concept over here then we can see that ab ab by de okay and bc by df so included angle included between sorry just a second no included angle i was trying to mark over here this one this b angle b is the included angle okay and there if we will see the included angle it will be angle d can you see it angle b and angle d will be same it has to be same angle b and d then only we can say that the triangles are similar with each other getting it angle b and angle d so it's option c i was wrong yes option c okay angle b and angle d are the included angle and hence by side angle side similarity criteria this two triangle must be similar with each other 
apart from this information on the basis of only this this much of information we cannot conclude we cannot conclude that the two triangles are similar with each other we need we need one more information that is angle we have found but any random an angle will not work over here it has to be included angle and we got that okay now these are the only these are the only criteria we are having criteria number 1 angle 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 criteria which can be taken as if you want to name it to if you want to say it's a same thing angle angle criteria okay if only two angle are matching for two triangle we can conclude that both the triangle are similar with each other third criteria side 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 criteria we have to be careful that side 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 we will not be matching ratio will be finding all the ratio has to be same and number 4 criteria is side angle side criteria here side angle side criteria still it doesn't mean that we will just be matching the length of the side we will be finding the ratio that has to be same between two sides and included angle has to be same these are the only four four rule we are having in hand if any any of the rule will be able to match for two triangle we can conclude that the given two triangle are similar with each other similar means we understand already similar means each and every angles are exactly same and sides are very well mannered in a in a very well mannered way it is either stretched or compressed okay let's let's do this question if it is given that triangle abc is similar to triangle def such that angle a is 30 degree angle c is 50 degree ab is 8 cm and df is 7.5 cm then which of the following is true option a de is equals to 12 cm angle f is equals to 50 degree option b de is equals to 12 cm and angle f is equals to 100 degree option c ef is equals to 12 cm and angle d is 120 degree okay or leave the option because here i cannot see the next option which is like properly in this question it's uh, just very hazy uh, picture is there okay so i'm leaving the option just just let's solve it otherwise maybe due to the option since i am unable to see the numbers properly and if i will end up writing any random number then maybe we will end up getting confused let's try focusing on the question okay so here it is given that abc and def these two triangles are similar with each other figure is not given so any random triangle we can draw by ourselves a b c d e f okay angle a is given as 30 degree angle c is given as 
50 degree. AB is given as 8 centimeter. DF is given as DF 7.5. Okay. Then which of the following? So everywhere it's given about DE and angle F. Okay. Whatever is given. Let's focus on finding DE and angle F. Is it possible? What to do over here? What should be the approach for this particular question? Who will say? Yes. If these two triangles are similar, then what can be written by ourselves? What can we write? Forget about the, the figure and all. Yes. Ma'am, is it possible by angle sum property we find angle B and then from that since the triangles are similar, we'll be able to find angle F? I don't know. See, given already these two triangles are similar. We don't have to prove it. We don't have to prove it that these two triangles are similar. It is given already these two triangles are similar. And what we understand from similarity, what can be written if these two triangles are similar? Yes. What can be written if these two triangles are similar? If any time AB by D A B by D E is equal to AC by D F. Exactly. Is equals to is B C by E F. Exactly. See similar means the sides, all the sides ratio, this corresponding side ratio will be in. Uh, the ratios will be same. All the sides will be in same proportion. Sides are proportional with each other. When two triangles are similar, of course, this, this side will be in proportion. An angle has to be same. It will be same. Why then we are discussing this four criteria? Why we are saying only angle, one of the angle, one of the angle, one of the angle? Why Why only three criteria we have, like uh, three angles are same, then we can conclude. Why we are saying so? Because in all the question, everything will not be given. In your, in your question, in your exam, a, a triangle will be drawn and another triangle will be drawn and everything will not be given that this is five centimeter, this is 10 centimeter, this is... Uh, let's say uh, 12 centimeter. This angle is also given, let's say as a maybe 30 degree, this angle is given as a 60 degree. Uh, this angle is given as a 90 degree maybe. Everything, all the information will not be given. Then how you will decide two triangle are similar or not? This is the bare minimum. If only this much information you are able to match, then you will be able to conclude that the triangles are similar with each other. Okay, if angle, angle, angle are same, that means both the triangles are similar. And of course, of course, sides are in proportion with each other. Even though we cannot, we cannot find that, uh, we cannot see the sides. We, we are not so sure about the side. Still, we can conclude if angles are same, then of course, sides will be in proportion with each other. You draw, uh, in the last class, I was uh, saying to everyone, no, randomly, if you will sit with the protractor and if you will start doing the construction of a triangle, if you will draw, if, if you will draw a triangle by maintaining one of the angle, let's say I was giving the example 60 degree over here and here you will be drawing, let's say 45 degree and in the one more triangle you are drawing without any proper measurement just with the help of a scale you keep on drawing here you are just maintaining the 60 degree here 45 degree but sides and all you still you don't know what is the measurement of the side just you have kept the scale and drawn a bigger line like that then or just this two you are maintaining same then also you will find later on that this side and one of the side over here that ratio 
like sides are in proportion with each other. Here also you will find. Getting my point? Yes, ma'am. This is the meaning of similarity. These are the these are the four rules we are having in hand. With at least this much information, we can conclude that two triangles are similar. And what does that mean? Similar? Th that means that sides are in proportion with each other and angles. Angles are same. Corresponding angles are same. Angle A over here is equals to angle D over there. Angle B over here is equals to angle E over there. And angle C over here is equals to angle F over there. Now let me tell you one more thing. Okay, even though when the figure and everything is not given and if just the name of the triangle like this ABC is similar to DEF is given, you will be able to write the name of the angle properly. Okay, we will not be writing angle A like this. We will be writing angle A will be in the middle and B and C, one on the left, another on the right, you have to write it to, to represent angle A. So one on the left, another on the right. This is angle A. That is equals to angle D. That means D we will be writing in the middle and E and F can be here and there. E and F can be here and there. This is angle D. Getting it? Getting it? How without even knowing the figure and all, we are writing the names? Everyone getting it? Yes, yes. Okay. Here we will be writing angle B. If you want to represent angle B over here is equals to angle E over there, you will be writing B in the middle and the remaining A and C here and there. If you want, you can write it as it is. If you want, you can write C at first and A after that. Doesn't matter. We want to represent angle B. This is how we'll be representing. There we want to represent angle E. The way it is there in the triangle, that way we can write it. Or F. F at first and D after that also we can write it. Okay. Similarly, angle angle C, if, if we want to represent angle C is equals to angle F, we will be writing C in the middle. And then the remaining two vertices A and B, we can write here and there. And this is the name, the proper specific name of angle C is equals to angle F over there. F will be in the middle and D and E can be here and there. Okay, this is how we will be writing the proper name of angles. Even though we are not drawing the triangle, we will be able to write it. Similarity means sides are in proportion and corresponding angles are same. Okay, so this much information, if, if any time any triangle are given as a similar, this much information like this all we can write by ourselves by by CPSTs, corresponding part of similar triangle. Okay, these are the corresponding part of similar triangle. Now here, what we have to find? DE we have to find, no? So let's put everything. Side AB, do we know? Yeah, this is given as a 8 centimeter. Okay. Then side DE, do we know? No. Here, in the other, other ratio, AC, do we know AC? No, we don't know AC. DF, DF we know it is 7.5, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And BC, we don't know. EF, we don't know. Now here two angles are given. Can we find the remaining, the next angle? Can we? Can we? If one of the angle is 30 degree, another angle is 50 degree, then what will be angle B? 100. Uh, 100? Yeah, 100. Okay, it will be 100. Now here we can see, here we can see if we will, See carefully, angle A and D are same. Okay, what we have to find? Angle F we have to find. So angle F is equals to angle C, right? Angle F is equals to angle C, right? So can we say angle F will also be 50 degree? Can we say? Yes. Yes, we can say that. Okay. 
so f is also 50 degree from if we will start eliminating the option then the first option so far it looks like it can be the first option okay now let's see anything else is given over here which will help us finding finding the side de just a second let me check am i missing any information or what Oh yeah, here it's given that. AC it's given that eight centimeter and AB is given as five centimeter, okay? AC is eight centimeter and AB is five centimeter, okay? So if we will try substituting AC, then we can write 8 over here. AB is given as 5. Now, can you see DE we will be able to find by comparing this two ratio? Can you see? Can you see if we will be just comparing AB by DE is equals to AC by DF? If we will compare just this two ratio, we will be able to find DE. Can you see it? AB is 8. <clears throat> sorry ab is 5 ab is 5 de we don't know ac is 8 and df is 7.5 so we are able to find de from here right getting it if two triangles are similar with each other then this much information we are having in hand already now, whatever is asked in the question, we will do simplification from here and we will try finding it. Okay? Are you getting Maha, Gunpun? Yes, Aisha, yes, Nua, Zanab, Galvin? Yes, ma'am. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Okay? Yes. So, this three ratio, this three corresponding sides are having same ratio we will be writing like that and then we will see which two can be used okay for finding the missing information let's continue here it's given that triangle abc in triangle ABC and DEF, angle F is equal to angle C. Okay, angle B is equal to angle E. And AB is equal to 1 by 2 DE. Then the two triangles are Options are congruent but not similar, similar but not congruent, congruent also similar also. Not, no, like it's not congruent, it's not similar like that. Okay, so let's try finding whether these two triangles are congruent or these two triangles are similar or nothing. So we are having, first let me check whether I have written the question properly or not. Triangle ABC and DEF, angle FC, BE, AB is equals to half of BE, yeah. Perfect. ABC 